my name is Sarah and I am from the front of house workshop and events team at Eureka. So today I'm going to share with you how to make fake wounds and this is something that we do in our gross lab science show, usually to school groups, our brownie groups, cubs, whoever wants to see it really. Um, so we talk a bit about why scabs happen and why they're important by uh, the scabs keep the germs and bacteria out of our bodies if we've got an open wound. Um, and then we try and really gross them out by making a fake one out of some things that you might have lying around the house. So Vaseline, um, some cocoa powder or hot chocolate powder, some red food colouring, uh, a little bit of tissue and also it's handy to have some baby wipes around for when you want to clean your fake wounds off. So first of all, Spencer, if you take a big spoonful of this Vaseline and Mommy. pop it in the bowl. Mommy. That's it, we'll scrape it off with your finger. And then, whoop. Summer, I want you to pour in some of this red food colouring. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix it all up. It looks like blood. Yeah, it looks like blood. And that's what a scab is, isn't it? It's like dried blood. Yeah. Mixing it all in. Oh! Yuck. Yeah, it looks pretty gross so far. So, to give the scab that extra crusty effect, we're going to put a spoonful of this in. Do the spoon. Can I do it? There we go. Mix it around. Some of you mix it too. Let's show yeah. everybody. Good. Yummy. Is it yeah. gross? I think it smells nice. So once you have made your scab mixture, uh, you just prep your skin where you're going to put your scab with a little bit of Vaseline. The kids have decided that they don't want this on their arms, so it's going on my arm. So once you put your Vaseline on, you just stick a bit of tissue onto the, uh, the bit where you've popped your Vaseline and then scrape the mixture on top like that. Spread it out a bit. Usually whilst we are getting these ready, we um, ask the children to use their imaginations and think of something that could have happened uh, to their arm for them to have such a horrific wound. So usually they come up with things like a zombie attack or a dinosaur bite, escaped tiger from the zoo and things like that. So once you've got your mixture on your arm, you can pop a bit more cocoa powder over the top of it just to give it that extra scabby crusty effect. There we have it, that is my fake wound. Um, have a go at home, obviously be careful with your red food colouring because it can stain your clothes if you end up getting it on there. And when you've had enough of grossing out your friends with your fake wound, you can wipe it off using a magical baby wipe. Ready? Ta-da! And it's as if it had never happened. Um, so yeah, please share your photos with it with us if you have a go. Share them on our Eureka's Instagram, Twitter and Facebook pages. Um, and take care and stay safe at home, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.